Welcome back to the Network Hack Academy Game of XG directory with Elastic Pepo Team Lab. In the last video, we ended right here where we had the Game of XG directory installed and also it's all now reporting in Proxmox. Next, we need to get connection to this lab from our attacker Kali Linux machine. So here is my Kali Linux machine. Okay, so in my Kali Linux machine, I need to connect to that lab machine. What I need is the WireGuard configuration. If you're going to be doing this with a shared environment, like if you want me to share this with you, all I need to do is send you a WireGuard configuration and you import it in your Kali the same exact way. So we need to install WireGuard on your Kali if it's not already installed by just running up to install WireGuard and resolve conf. I already did that on mine, but I just wanted to show you that the documentation is out there and I'm just running the installation says uh, sure there's an upgrade i might as well all right while well, it's installing wireguard this is the kali blog just google how to install wireguard in kali and you'll see that and while it's installing in our ludus documentation after we get the success i found here in the documentation that we can just run the command ludus user wireguard if there is multiple users the admin for the label need to generate wireguard configs for everybody but for me I'll just copy that, get into my lab here. As you can see, I'm still in the same session. Let us use a WireGuard and this will generate a WireGuard configuration. Here's a quick note for if you're the admin for this, make sure that this IP address for the endpoint is set to your server. So if you're going to share this over the internet, you might need to uh, figure ways to put this behind a proxy or something. This needs to be the IP address for the server and that's the endpoint. I'm going to grab this wireguard config from here. Just copy the entire thing. You can just copy and zip it and email it to a user or whatever uh, you're using for sharing. But for us, once wireguard is done, you need to go to slash Etsy wireguard. So CD slash Etsy wireguard. And in your wireguard, we need a file called wg0.conf. That's the default one. So if you prefer to use WireGuard the same way you can use this. Otherwise, you need to tell WireGuard which file to use. So I'm I'm just going to be lazy, and I'll just copy the current wg0.conf to wg0.conf.bk. If this file doesn't exist, you need to create it. So I'll remove that, and then re recreate it. Okay, I'm recreating it because I want to come here and copy the existing this one here. This should let me in the lab environment. So I'll just copy that and paste it in here. Make sure this is, you, you don't share this information with people because the private key and the public keys, this information will actually be used as passwords. So right now I'm showing you for a demonstration. I'll be destroying this lab after, uh, well, by the time the videos are published, but I just, just want you to know this is private information. I wouldn't share this in the public internet. So control X. Y and enter. So now, as you can see, we have our WireGuard file. Now we need to start WireGuard. Okay, so to start uh, WireGuard, we say WG up uh, O, WG zero. Okay, now if you do an IPA, so this will bring up our WireGuard. If I do an IPA, I now have a WireGuard. IP address connected to the Luda server. So this is how we are able to connect to the lab. Now, if we open a browser, let's just um, try to visit something in the lab, maybe our Elastic, our Kibana instance or Elastic. Let me find the IP address of the Elastic server. Signing in, Proxmox. And I want to be on the Elastic machine. I think under hardware. Or summary, yeah, summary. Ten three, this one. Ten three twenty one. HTTPS ten dot three dot twenty dot one on port fifty six zero one for Kibana. There we go. As you can see, we can access our Kibana instance. So let's sign in. We'll leave it like that. And from Kali. Boom, we are able to sign in. Another thing that we can do is we can now use this Kali to just scan the entire subnet. So 
if you do any uh, nmap on the entire subnet we should see some hosts show up this will show us that our our cyber range is actually up and running so we want the let's just see in the game of active directory if we have something as well uh, yeah 10.3.10 so let's scan the entire 10.3.10 Dot zero search twenty four. Okay, sure. I'll do SV, and I'll also do VV, so we can see these in real time. This is just to show us that you we can scan the network, and this should be good. As you can see, we are seeing some ports that are open on these machines thirty one, thirty, and so forth. So that's how we are able to confirm that we are connected to the cyber range using WireGuard. In the next video, we'll get started in attacking the game of active directory. And also, we will be visiting our Elastic Security dashboard, which I should show you right now before you go. In the alert section here, we'll be using that to watch the entire lab environment to see if it will actually work or not. Uh, if we generate any malicious traffic, it should be caught by the Elastic agents. Just like as you can see here, there are some alerts. In the lab environment this is just windows functionality force positive some of them as you can see so that was the wireguard video in the next time we'll be trying to get into our active directory environment start the pen test and also watch our events here this will become an official pen, paper teaming exercise thanks for watching and i'll see you next time